Manu Zumi here and I'm back with a new video. Yes, finally, after all this time, I'm continuing the Yandere Chan redesign series. Yeah, I know, it took me forever today, but uh, a little bit more on that later. <laughs> so any anyway, so today we're going to be redesigning the next character on the list, Amaz. So first things first, I want to say that I actually warmed up before I drew this and it made all the difference. For some crazy unknown reason, I, I have no explanation for this. A lot of the times when I do these videos, I don't warm up at all. I just start drawing and then because I don't have like, I have not warmed up, I'm just sitting there fighting with the picture to be drawn for like the entire time I'm doing the recording. But you know, this time it was really easy because I, I had been drawing before I drew Amai. So like I was all loosey goosey and warmed up. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> before I start rambling. So, what I wanted to do for her pose, I kind of wanted it to be reminiscent of the original pose, but like a little bit more dynamic. Oh, and and that um the, that little doodle that's in the corner, that's that's a quick concept of her. I know. It's beautiful. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> anyway, um some things I didn't like about her original design was her uh, plain school uniform. And like I said in the previous videos, I just, I don't like the, the weird sock motif that the girls have going on. Like, I think of my socks, they look like, they look like candy canes, but not like the good candy canes. Like the, like the cheap candy canes that you get at the dollar store that like, they taste like peppermint for like, like a minute and then they taste like feet. Th that's, that's the candy cane that, the, that her socks look like. And I, I'm, I'm rambling again. Back on top, <laughs> back on topic. As you can tell, I'm, I'm, I'm I don't have a script. I'm just kind of, you know, talking out of my bro, my, my, <laughs> my butt. I was gonna say, <laughs> just talking out of my brain. But, but I think I like butt a lot better. Anyway, um, so I changed her socks. Another thing that I changed was her body proportions, because with the um. Girls in um, Yan Sim, they all have the exact same body proportions. So I wanted her to have um, very, like very different body proportions com as compared to uh, Yandere Chan and Osana. Uh, Cause I think for Osana, I gave her, like she was really petite looking. And then for uh, Yandere Chan, she was pretty just, I don't know, just pretty regular, I guess. But for um, Amai, I kind of gave her like a really big bust and like really curvy head. So for her school uniform, I did a slight variation on my original design by having her overcoat buttoned up. And for her shoes, I decided to give her those shoes, like, you know what shoes I'm talking about? Those like indoor school shoes that you see in Japan. And like, funny enough, like, I, I, I know what they look like, but I don't know what they look like. So I had to <laughs> grab a reference picture from Google because I was sitting there drawing them and I'm like, you know, I know what these shoes look like, but like I didn't, you know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, I chose those shoes because, you know, they have like a colored part in the, the front of them. And I wanted to um, use the color, like her, um, the turquoise color that, that's on her hair scarf. I wanted to use that but in like more than one place. Um, so I had to figure out what I could add to her design that I could give like a, a, like a tiny bit of like pop of color. Um, and I figured, you know, I could do it with those shoes. Those shoes who, who like, you know, I, I don't I don't know what they're called. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Though, you know, I could I could just Google it, but you know, who, who has time to Google things? You, you know what I mean. Enough of my uh, incoherent rambling. I thought that Adding those shoes would help balance out the turquoise color of like her hair accessory. So that's why I added those. I had to go and grab the picture that I did of Yandere Chan so I could get the height right. And oh my goodness, you can see the difference in style so quickly when I put them next to each other. It looks like two different people did it from like from my perspective. I, I was surprised because I haven't looked at the picture of Yandere Chan for like a long time. So then when I opened it and I put, him, <laughs> I put her next to a mile, I was like, oh my goodness. Look at the style sift. Anyway, um, I also didn't really change Amai's hair too much. I just kind of made it a bit more dynamic. Um, I did change her hair accessory though, because I, I don't know, I kind of felt like the hair scarf was a, a bit on the nose. Cause you know, she's like a homemaker style character or whatever. And 
It's like a, you know, homemaker hair scarf. I, I don't know. I just thought that, like, the cute little... Like the little tied up ribbon would look will look cuter. Next, I'm selecting each individual area that I'm gonna color. Um, I usually I usually cut this part out when I'm doing like these videos, but I decided to leave it in so I could talk a bit about why it took me so long to release another one of these um, Yandere Chan redesign videos. And well, you know, I'm not really a person that overthinks things. I just kind of always go with the flow, except when it comes to art. I mean, I overthink everything about my art to ad nauseum. And when I see something in my art that I don't like a thousand percent love, instead of gradually working on changing it over time, I, I tend to just like hunker down and tunnel vision on like fixing or slash changing it. And you know, while I do that, I just kind of forsake all others and I sacrifice my soul to the art gods and, and hope that they'll show me a little bit of favor and help me with my struggle. <laughs> anyway, I'm rambling, I'm rambling. Um, what I'm trying to say is that I wasn't happy with my art and I really didn't love what I was doing with my coloring either. But at the same time, those videos I did a couple months ago, like everyone really liked them, but I kept looking at them and like, I, I just, I didn't like them. I liked them at first, but over time I just, I kept picking them apart. I was like, you know what, I could improve on this, or I don't really like how dark that is, or I don't really like how this style looks, or, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, I, it just kind of turned into a whole thing where I didn't finish artwork, because I was like, oh, you know, when I finally figure out my, my, my coloring style, I might go, like, go back and recolor this and, you know, update it to make it look nicer, but, but I, I couldn't figure out my coloring style. So, <laughs> I spent this last, like, little bit um, improving on my art and my coloring style, which honestly, honestly, as annoying as it is, I got to a point with my coloring style that I really liked. And then, you know, literally after I finished coloring this picture of Amai, I was coloring um, another picture for like, um, um, like a character design contest. And annoyingly enough, I tried a new technique on that drawing and I like it better than the technique that I used to color in my So I'm kind of dying a little bit on the inside. Uh, <laughs> and you know what, maybe to other people, the coloring doesn't look any different, but to me it looks different. But I, 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 I'm just like a hot mess right now when it comes to aspects of my style. But you know, I'm, I, I'm getting there. So because I'm almost there, I will be posting a lot more um, as I try and figure out my life. Anyway, back to the <laughs> back to the redesign video. but I got a new mic um it's like a whole legit mic with like a pop protector and like it's like one of those standing ones and um it gives us I do like it but it does give kind of like an like an echoey type of quality to my voice but I don't think that's the mic's fault I'm pretty sure it's just because of my room is really open so I'm trying to figure that like figure it out because I've only had this mic for like a week or two um so while I figure it out please put up with me Okay, so I just want to say I really like how her hair came out. Um, I had to do, I ended up doing some of it off of, um, off a of camera because like, <laughs> I had to recolor it a few times because I couldn't get it right. Um, it just wasn't looking right for a while, but eventually I did get it and I, I ended up, um, coloring it and 
Then after I finally got something that I liked, I realized, you know what? I forgot to hit record, but you know, such is life. Okay, okay, so guys, don't ask me how many times I colored her overcoat. I colored that freaking thing so many times because I just could not get the colors right. Like, a, like it started off as like a yellowish color, then I changed it to like a gray, then I changed it to a blue, and at the end, I think it, I ended up with like a mix of the blue color and the yellow color. I was so irritated and done with that overcoat. I, just looking at me coloring it in this recording, like while I'm doing this voiceover, is like irritating me to no end because I can remember the pain of coloring that freaking thing. on her legs is probably like my favorite part of the picture. I don't know, I just really like the way it came out.
next week um, to start up my streams again. I was streaming pretty regularly there for a while, um, but then Cox had to install this thing in my area, which made my internet really, really spotty for a while. And then after that, I got sick, so you know, that was great. So I want to start that up again. I also have a bit of a challenge for myself for this coming next week. I'm going to try, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but I'm going to try to release two videos next week. So wish me luck. I have them planned out already. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to do it. Kizana. Um, I've got actually a lot of re requests for Oka, but I'm just kind of going down the list of characters. So Oka will come after Kizana. Um, I'm hoping to have the Kizana video out next week. Um, it's going to be part of my two video um, challenge. So um, stay tuned for that. she came out and her coat did come out nicely in the end even though it fought me to no end <laughs> anyway um, if you want to see more of my art my socials are up on the screen um, I'm most active on Instagram but recently I've been using Twitter so if you want to follow me on Twitter um, I'll be posting there too my next video um, 
I'm hoping to have out in the next couple of days. Um, I think it's kind of an interesting idea. I mean, hopefully you guys are gonna like it. Um, I'm also going to be planning on releasing some videos related to my webtoon that I'm gonna be working on. Um, I'm planning on releasing it this year, so I wanna do some videos to kind of introduce people to the world. Um, anyway, so if you guys wanna see some more of my videos, subscribe and hit the bell, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!